Hashmap Megabytes. Hello and welcome to another episode of Hashmap Megabytes. Today I'll be talking about Snowflake Health Check and walking through how to use the tool. So first let's go to Health Check. Uh, you can do so by typing in healthcheck.snowflakeinspector.com. And as you can see, Health Check is a secure uh, tool and it's also open source. You can visit our GitHub repo right here and you can look at the Health Check code if you'd like. So, Health Check is a tool that provides four visualizations into the overall health of your Snowflake environment. And the data is pulled from the views in the account usage schema. Now, the account usage uh, schema holds views that display object metadata and usage metrics for your Snowflake account. So, let's use the tool here. Um, so, first, click on New Report. You can copy the this uh, SQL query here, and you'll need to do so to use the tool. Okay, it's copied. And then open a new worksheet in your Snowflake account. And then paste that query in the worksheet and then click run. This will take up to a little less than a minute. So I'll talk about the uh, each individual chart. So the first is the warehouse health chart. Now where the warehouse health chart is set up as follows. In the x-axis are the warehouses for your Snowflake account and this is a grouped bar chart, so there are three columns associated with each X value, which is a Snowflake warehouse. So the first column is the median execution time, and this is in minutes. So this provides information on the amount that your warehouse, that each individual warehouse in your Snowflake account is being used over the last 30 days. The second column is the median queued provisioning time, also in minutes. And this column is the time spent in the warehouse queue, waiting for the warehouse servers to provision due to warehouse creation, resume, or resize. And then the final column is the median queued overload time. And this is the time spent in the warehouse queue due to the warehouse being overloaded by the current query workload. So just a quick example here. So you, as you can see, the data profiling internship warehouse here has 0.005 median execution time minutes in the last 30 days and 0.002 median queued provisioning time minutes in the last 30 days. So this chart basically gives you information on each individual warehouse in your Snowflake account and how much it's being used, whether it's being overloaded, and how much the queued provisioning time is occurring. So let's go into the second chart here, which is daily compute credit usage by warehouse over the last 30 days. And this chart provides the amount of credits that each individual warehouse is using over a timeline. It's a stacked uh, line chart. And you can actually isolate a specific warehouse here by double clicking on that trace. So right here I double clicked on RTE warehouse and as you can see here this provides the amount of credits that this warehouse is using over the last 30 days. So on October 7th it used 0.514 credits and then you can double click again on that same trace to bring all the traces, um, all the warehouse traces back. And you can get a pretty in-depth look on where your credits are being used per warehouse. So in the next tab, we have the database uh, tab over here. And two more charts are provided here. Uh, the first is the daily gigabyte usage by database over the last 30 days. You can, once again, you can ice, this is a stacked line chart, and you can isolate an individual trace here. So uh, let's isolate TestDB because that looks like a pretty large 
gigabyte usage over the last 30 days here. And this is a red flag here, so we actually do need to check that out. So as you can see, here is your gigabyte usage on the y-axis and on the x-axis is the date. So you can kind of get an idea of the gigabyte usage by database over the last 30 days. And the final table is the active storage usage by table in gigabytes. So the way this chart is set up is it's a stacked bar chart where each X value is a Snowflake database. And then within that column are the individual tables within that database. So you can see within the Snowflake database, the AWS CloudTrail flattened table has 120.68 gigabytes of active storage usage. So you can get a, a good idea of which tables within your Snowflake account are being used to store data. So the query should have run by now. Yeah, it did. So it took 36.95 seconds to run the query. So after the query runs, you're going to want to click on this button here and export it as a CSV. You can do so by clicking that right there. And then go back to health check. Uh, you can pull up new report again and click and it says download your query results as a CSV and upload here. So we did that. So let's browse our local files here. And these are the results from the query I just ran. So let's uh, click on open and then you can click on visualize. And as you can see, the charts all updated. And the time uh, update as well. So this goes up to December 9th, and I'm recording this on the 10th. So it provides an updated view over the last 30 days of all four charts. So that's basically Snowflake Health Check. Thank you for watching, and please be sure to subscribe for more Megabyte content. Thank you. Hashmap Megabytes.